Hey guys, today in this video we are gonna be talking about WhatsApp hidden tips, tricks and features that you should definitely know about in 2024. So without wasting any time, let's hit the intro first. So firstly, now you can use multiple accounts on your WhatsApp device just like Instagram. As before, if you wanted to have two accounts, then you had to use WhatsApp business so that you can use two accounts separately. But now the problem is solved. But this feature is only available on Android. So to use this feature on WhatsApp, open WhatsApp on your device, then tap on the three dots and here tap on settings. Then tap on account, here tap on add account. And then again tap on add account. As you'll see, a new screen will be shown to add an account. Just tap on agree and continue. And here you have to add your number. And once you do that, your second account will be activated. As you can see, the account is being added right now. So the new account has been added. Now if I want to switch my account, I can just tap on the three dots. And here at the bottom, tap on switch accounts. And here your old account will be shown. Alright, so on the second number, we have AI chatbots. You can use AI directly on your WhatsApp. Meta has also added its Meta AI feature on WhatsApp as well, but currently it's only available for selected users. But don't worry because you can use various and different types of AI chatbots directly in your WhatsApp. For example, there's Buddy GPT, which just acts like Chat GPT but in your WhatsApp. So to add Buddy GPT in your WhatsApp, first of all go to Chrome and here search Buddy GPT. Then tap on it and just tap on try for free on WhatsApp. And you can see it's now open and you just have to send this message iPad. And as you can see now this AI chatbot can help you in answering your questions on a wide range of topics. And not just that, while we're on WhatsApp, you can also order food online and also even book a cab right from the WhatsApp. And not just that, you can also confirm and check your seat with your PNR number. You just have to save few numbers on your WhatsApp. And once you do that, you can avail all of these services right on your WhatsApp. So let's see how to do that. So on your WhatsApp, to order food directly on the train, search Zoop and the number will be shown on the screen so that you can also do that. Now tap on it and just send Hi. Select your language and here tap on view options. And as you can see here, you can order food, check PNR status, track your order, even cancel your order. Or if you want to, you can also raise a complaint directly from here. So let's see. Tap on order food and then send. You can also check your PNR status right from your here, whether your ticket has been confirmed and what is your seat number. For that, you have to add your 10 digit PNR below. Now, if you want to book a cab online directly on WhatsApp, just search Uber and the number of this chatbot will be shown directly on your screen. So tap on it and again send hi and here just tap on book a ride. And then you can book cab directly on your WhatsApp, which is pretty amazing. And on the fourth number, you can now directly scan QR codes on WhatsApp and do the payment with ease. So just let's say if somebody has sent you a QR code on your WhatsApp, then you don't have to go anywhere or you don't have to use another device to scan it and then pay. You can just pay directly through your WhatsApp. So let me show you how to do that. So open WhatsApp and just tap on the number where somebody has sent you a QR code and then tap on it and as you can see it has directly shown me that upi id has been found and then just tap on continue and then of course you have to add your bank account so that you can pay directly through whatsapp so if i tap on get started accept and continue and as you can see i have to add my bank account and then i am good to go to do the payment so this feature makes your life pretty easy when it comes to doing the payment now on the fifth number we have this amazing feature which people were waiting for so long which is that you can now send hd photos directly through whatsapp you don't have to anymore send it as a document so that you can retain the quality of your photo you can just send hd photos directly through whatsapp so let me show you how to do that so on your whatsapp open the chat to whom you want to send the photo then here tap on this icon and tap on gallery and here just select any photo that you want and as you can see on the top side we have this hd icon just tap on it and then it will ask you you want to send standard quality photo or hd quality photo select on hd quality and then just send it and as you can see the icon is also showing of hd which means that this photo is of hd quality and that's how you can now send hd quality photos directly on whatsapp now there are some other cool and amazing features of whatsapp as well which are a new addition and one of them is using stickers directly on whatsapp you don't have to go anywhere on any different site to use stickers and send it to your friends you can just do that directly on your whatsapp by using your own photos that you have saved in your gallery so firstly on your whatsapp open the chat to whom you want to send those stickers and then tap on this smiley icon here you have to select this 
sticker icon and as you can see here you can create your own stickers by using your photos so just tap on create and here select any of the photo which you want for now i'm selecting this Spider-Man photo and as you can see whatsapp has automatically created a sticker icon for me just by using that photo and it also has added an outline for it and which looks pretty cool and on top of that i can write anything on this sticker and i can even add emojis on it on top of it as well and your sticker has been sent and it's also saved in this sticker section as well if you want to use it again so up next we have a utility feature which is pretty useful for you so we all know that we can export a particular chat in our whatsapp and send it or share it to someone else but we could not be able to export images or any type of media in those chats but don't worry because now you can do that so on whatsapp open any chat and then tap on the three dots then tap on more then tap on export chat and here you have to select include media and as you can see whatsapp chat with this number has been exported and now you can share it to someone or even save it so once you've exported your chat and saved it to files then go to files go to downloads and here tap on the three dots on the exported file then tap on open with and just open it with RAR and as you can see the chat file with all of the media is being shown here and if I just tap on it and select that I want to open it with photos and as you can see the media can be shown here all right moving forward up next we have a new feature by which you can create your own ai avatar on whatsapp so go to whatsapp and here tap on the three dots then go to settings and here tap on avatar then tap on create your avatar tap on get started and here you can either take your photo or even create your avatar manually just tap on create manually and then you have to choose your skin tone and then after that you have to choose all of your other things hairstyle facial features and your types of clothes and after that is done you can see that your avatar is being updated tap on next and your avatar is all set and now you can also create stickers from this avatar or even create this as your profile photo and you can see there are different reactions and emojis with that that you can use and try out i like this one so I'm gonna select this and my profile photo is updated and it looks pretty amazing right now did you know that you can also share the screen whenever you are talking to someone on whatsapp on a video call and not just that with the screen sharing as well you can now share audio in the screen sharing too so as you can see I have two devices right here and from this device I'm gonna call to this device so just tap on this video icon and now the video is coming from here just accept the video call and now if I tap on this screen sharing icon and tap on continue and then start tap on start and as you can see we can now share screen from one device to another and not just that if I tap on Instagram and play any reel I can also listen the audio in the another device so up next we have some features which are pretty small but are very useful when it comes to your privacy whenever you want to send someone any type of photo just tap on this icon and select any photo from the gallery and you'll see this one icon here on the bottom right if i tap on it then as you can see the other person can only view this photo once and this feature will give you more privacy whenever you want to send any type of video or even photo and if i send it now then this photo will only be visible to the other person for one time so as you can see this is a view once message so it's more private if i tap on ok and as i've seen the photo and now if i click on back then it's shown that it's open and now if i tap on it i won't be able to open it after once and it's not just with photo if you want to send any type of voice note then also you can send it for one time only so as you can see if somebody has sent me a voice message it's shown as voice message set to view once so if i tap on it to hear it and now if i go back and you can see that i won't be able to hear this voice message again which is pretty sad okay last but not the least we have this little feature that will make your life much more easy whenever you want to talk with someone special let's say on whatsapp you have a special person to whom you talk every day every hour even every minute so if you just tap on their chat and then tap on the three dot then tap on more and here you'll see this option of add shortcut just tap on it and here you can see that i can add a shortcut right on my home screen so just tap on add to home screen and now if i go back to my home screen as you can see this shortcut has been added which means that i can directly open this chat that means that i don't have to go to whatsapp and then find the chat and then i have to open it then send a message i can just with the help of this shortcut tap on it and send whatever i want to send let's say i want to send hey i can send it 
with very much ease. Okay, so these were all of the WhatsApp tips, tricks and hidden features that I thought you should definitely know about in 2024. And if I missed out on any cool feature that you think is very amazing and you use these features on the daily basis, then do let me know in the comment section. I will definitely respond to that. And apart from that, you know the drill. You have to like this video, comment down and of course, don't forget to subscribe to Geekified. And also, if you want to share this video to your WhatsApp friends on WhatsApp, you can also do that. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video talking more about tech. Till then, see ya and may God bless you.